And yes, you heard it right. We're going to review a book that is coming from the same author, Emily Henry. <laughs> A million Junes. Oh my god, why is it so late? Anyway. Hello, beautiful people. Rise and shine in a world that is gleeful. <laughs> yes. Welcome back to. Okay, guys. Take it from the top. Louder. A one, two. Sachi Cyberi Yuchu Channel. What's Yuchu Chuchu? Oh my gosh, this brazen. Hello beautiful people! Welcome back to my channel. It is so hot in here and so hot in here but I'm wearing a sweater. Really? That's all I can get? That's all I can think of? Anyway, today we are going to review A Million Junes by Emily Henry. I know you guys, this name is all over the internet nowadays. I mean, she's the author of Beach Read and People We Met on Vacation. So, I will be giving you my thoughts about this book since this is like one of her books that are underrated. Um, maybe because it was published like three years ago. But then at the same time, I want you guys to know my thoughts about A Million Junes. I mean, if you're really enjoying Emily Henry's works, you could try this out after watching this video. So, A Million Junes is a young adult romance story where in this story, we are going to follow two families, the O'Donnell and the Angered family, which both of these two are currently in a feud. So in this book, we are going to follow the perspective of Jack O'Donnell, which her nickname is June O'Donnell in the story. So June O'Donnell, growing up, she only has has one rule that has been created by her parents which is to stay away from the angered family and by that statement you could already assume that it is going to be a Romeo and Juliet type of story bright angel oh Romeo Romeo with four of the Romeo well, I have to say there is a hint of that kind, but then at the same time, that is not like the most focus in the story, but rather it's somewhat a mystery on like, we are going to find out what happened between the feud and um, what caused this feud. So it's much more like that. So it is in a contemporary setting, but Emily Henry is going to bring us in the realms of the magical world so what do i pertain by the realms of the magical world well basically from this part of the book i don't know i think this will be a caution spoiler um it's because june's father died and um the father of june is trying to give um her daughter hints on what happened before the feud started so yes I could warn you, this is um, a romance slash mystery to the story, which adds depth and adds much more entertainment while you're reading it. And now moving to the part that I will be sharing you guys my thoughts about a million Judes. Million Judes. Judes. Why do I keep saying Jude? Am I not over with the cruel prince yet? Cardan, if you're watching. <laughs> Cardan. Anyway, proceeding my thoughts about this book. So, in fact, I actually read this like six months ago. So, I'm trying to remember each part that has happened. But yeah, the, the thought in my mind is not that vague yet. So, I could share some of the parts that I like about this. So, yes. Well, I like the fact that it is in a contemporary setting wherein June is a high schooler, which I could relate to because I am in my senior year already. And um, a lot of things has been happening in her school. And then one of which is her meeting um, an enemy, which is Saul Angered. Although they're not much an enemy because only their families are angry with each other. But June and Saul Angered are... Are quite chill together so yes there's not much happening to that aspect another thing here is that it is not usual to bits of the stories that you would read from every type of book I mean this one it is like more of narrating ghost stories which in my mind I did not know it it, it will be in that 
format because all I know this is going to be young adult romance and I don't know how will the author will make this story into a whole but then at the same time they make the ghost story as an aspect for this romance which actually made the relationship between June and Saul Angert um more stronger at that point the timing in this book is quite confusing because part from it is that um she's living in a contemporary world and part from it is that she is in the realms of a magical place so it is quite confusing for the setting of this book but nevertheless if you are trying to um be in or be with the story you will really get it at some point so that is like one of my remarks by a million junes and i remember rating this as a three star out of a five so yeah i already have a video posted here which i rated all of my books so there's that if you want to watch that it's just above so yeah that's like my thoughts about a million junes although i was not really having that feeling or having that connection with this type of book maybe it's just lacking the vibe between me and the story of june itself there's just no connection that is why this book didn't become remarkable to me and that's why i also rated it at three stars so yes there's no connection between sachi and a million junes but all i could say that it is worth the try in reading this book oh to also mention this is actually part i saw this in a website wherein this is like one of the greatest um young adult romance written so um as a reader of this book i wouldn't say it is one of the best young adult romances there are concepts that should be developed between um saul and um between saul and june because reading this book i remember i did not feel much chemistry between the two characters it was just like meh okay <laughs> getting together as expected something like that so there was not much chemistry it would not give you like killing moments or sweet moments as part from my experience in reading this book so i would not say that it is one of the best young adult romances out there but if you're looking for a story that centers in mystery slash um ghost stories then go for a million junes and now we're in the end of this video thank you guys for watching um i feel like this is going to be a quick video but nevertheless i hope that you will like and subscribe do not forget to hit that notification not okay notification bell down below so that you can be notified whenever I post a video so thank you guys and do not forget ready get set and start reading